Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday evening, December 11th, 2025. It's 7 o'clock in the evening here along the West Coast. Uh, latest activity, as you can tell there on the seismograph stations, is a pretty large earthquake showing up all across the seismograph stations here. This is a 6.7 earthquake, but I'm looking at some of these readings, and I think that's going to be above that level. Uh, I think it would be up around the 7 range or so. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at where this earthquake is occurring. It's right there in the mega quake warning area for a 6.7, 9 miles deep here. It has been reviewed, but again, uh, sometimes it may they may adjust it accordingly. Because look at this. This is showing up there in Northern California, uh, in Alaska, Southern California, picking up the primary wave there. That looks like it's a bigger earthquake than a 6.7. As uh, far as any tsunami activity, there is nothing. These guys reporting that earthquake as a 6.7 as well. But like I say, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, this one coming in just a short while ago. It is into the zone where the Japanese Meteorological Agency put out a mega quake warning for here recently. Uh, the northern edge of the Japan Trench and the Chishima Trench here. That is an area of interest, and there's an earthquake advisory that was issued here for the folks in Japan because of the potential to see a large damaging earthquake out here along that region of the subduction zone. Now, if you look here in the last 30 days, we've had technically two significant swarm regions uh, down here to the south, the northern end of the Japan Trench, and more recently, um, a little bit further up north here, uh, where we had... Uh, 6.7 now, and then we had a 6.6 .6 a couple days ago, and then a 7.6 in that. And it's just, it's a huge cluster of earthquakes with a little uncertainty in, into where this is leading to. Uh, that's why they issued an advisory out here for a large mega quake uh, that could take place here very soon. And the more I'm watching these earthquakes come in, as far as these larger magnitudes, the higher. Uh, I'm thinking we got a decent chance here of seeing a mega quake out here along that region. We do also have to watch this area up to the north there, and it's right. It looks like it's right about where that five pointer struck this evening, well earlier this afternoon as well. Back prior to the subduction zone interface, we had a five pointer. Roughly this area northward is where the 8.8 .8 struck. It ruptured a 500 kilometer long subduction zone area, uh, northern end of the Curl Cam Chaka Trench back in the end of July. Remember that 8.8 .8 this year. But this area southward here to the, about the northern edge of the Japan Trench is primed for some big earthquake activity. Either way, you know, it, it's looking uh, looking like we'll see something bigger out here, I think. That's a decent size event. Um, Alaska's picking up that P wave, some of the S waves as well. Uh, nothing in New, Ze New Zealand yet or Chile, but these are, you know... Some of these other seismograph stations here are at a distance, but it looks, to me, it looks a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than a uh, 6.7, but we'll check back on that here in just a minute. Uh, but there is no tsunami statement with that. We'll just, you know, we double check that. No tsunami warning advisory watch or threat from this earthquake. But if we get something above the 8 range or so, that, that, we're talking about a tsunami being produced. Uh, watching California as well, we've been lighting up out here. Across the northern end, the center portion recently, and also a swarm outside of Los Angeles here. Very um, reminiscent of the 2011 um, event there. Remember when we had that 9.1 into the Japan Trench here, 2011. Uh, we were seeing California swarm quite a bit. Cascadia up there, we're seeing a lot of tremor. And then we had a series of large earthquakes here in Japan previous to the 9.0 you had some foreshock activities basically what they were and this could be very well foreshock activity as well but when the nine pointer struck in 2011 we've seen that activity out here across california back down but it, it's looking like you know which one's going to go is california the west coast going to go or is it going to be japan again uh, california is just lighting up like crazy out here uh, watching the swarm north here of los angeles around the fillmore area got about 27 earthquakes not all small microquake activity. There's a number of twos, quite a few twos, and a couple threes in there as well. These earthquakes stirred up this morning all within seconds of each other. So that's a sign here of some fracturing going on and some, uh, you know, maximum pressurization being reached out here across the West Coast. 
Also up here across Northern California there, a number of earthquakes in the uh, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. That's the Cascadia up here. A couple of earthquakes there into it. This one there fairly deep this morning. Then a more recent shallower earthquake um, kind of up there around the locked area. The locked area is where um, we're building up some strain and stress there for the next big mega quake out here along the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. So just be on guard here, folks. Um, a lot of movement happening. We could see a mega quake out there around Japan. We could see large event out here across the West Coast. It's uh, it's just been very active out here. Hawaii's starting to stir back up out here as well with a trail of earthquakes leading off, off the southeastern edge here of the Big Island. Um, nothing, uh, nothing big for now, but we've definitely seen a lot of deep activity out there underneath that region uh, in the last month or so. Leading, it will be leading to some something here. In the coming weeks, it might, might take a month or so before we see uh, maybe some. It could be a decrease or an increase in uh, volcanic activity there across the Kilauea volcano. So we'll have to watch that. Uh, refresh this just to double check. Still keeping it at a 6.7, but uh, you know, not too often am I wrong when it comes to um, these reviews of earthquakes here. Um, most of the time, if I say there's going to be an upgrade, um, they normally do put an upgrade in there. Or as a larger magnitude, but uh, we'll see what happens. Either way, be on guard here. Could see a, a mega quake happen out here across that area. Earlier today, we had a five pointer, a couple other fours in there as well, but things may be on the, uh, well, they are on the escalated <laughs> part right now. They're, it's stirring up. And it was quiet, it's somewhat quiet. I mean, some fives and a couple threes out there now. Big old 6.7. Look at this super deep earthquake here underneath the Fiji area into the Tonga Trench. A lot of movement happening out here, folks. A lot of movement. So just be on guard. West Coast, Cascadia subduction zone. Let's check out the trimmer activity here real quick. See what we got for slow slip events. Um, yeah, that's right. Uh, I, I did get your email there. Uh, Timothy, I just haven't responded. They did update their map. Um, I have. This is the first time looking at it. I haven't even got a chance to look at it yet. Uh, it looks similar here, about the same. This is a. Uh, actually, I kind of like this. This is kind of neat here, as far as the layout goes. It's fancy. Can do a couple options here. Pass trimmer, JDF plates, seismograph stations there. I I kind of like this. Heat maps. Heat maps. Really? Huh. I'm going to have to look into that. Right around where the... Uh, well, it's where the concentrated areas of uh, trimmer activity are occurring. That's kind of neat. Uh, anyway, we got... Uh, what do we got here? Daily counts. 45 a little uptick there from uh, last couple days where it was pretty much nothing going on but uh, yeah little little um little reset here of the pnsn network they revised everything out here it kind of looks cool i'll have to go through it and and uh, check it out but uh yeah anyway 6.7 still uh hitting into the uh, japan area watch for a mega quake out here but also at the same time we do have to watch california uh, the question is, you know, where's what's it going to be? Is it going to be the West Coast finally, or is it going to um, bounce off another mega quake out here and then relieve some strain uh, for a short period across the West Coast? We'll see. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later. Stay safe out there and uh, be prepared. Got a lot of activity stirring up out here.